Production 65003, scene 300R, take one. The forces in Germany were arranged in this manner. The Allies were here, the uh, Russians were over on that side. And that situation was developed by General Eisenhower as commander-in-chief of, uh, of the armies of the Allies. He had sent a message to Stalin informing him of how the situation was and he'd also sent a copy to the President of the United States. Well, anyway, this situation was such that it caused embarrassment and trouble from then on. Nobody knew how much trouble it was going to cause. Eisenhower had said that Berlin was no longer of any strategic value, but he was mistaken in the matter because Berlin and the whole of Germany became the matter of contention from that time until right now, the contention is still on. Cut. 301R, take one. This map shows how the forces were arranged in the First World War. General Eisenhower is the commander in chief, and he arranged this so that we occupied, the Allies occupied this part of uh, Germany. The Russians occupied this part. They were west of the Elbe River, which is here. And Eisenhower had also made the statement that Berlin had no longer become a strategic point, which uh, we should try to take away from everybody. But he made a mistake, because it's been a matter of controversy ever since, and still is. Cut. One thousand. 